And Rob, I know you didn't have any uh, of Dominion Energy shares, but you do say that this strategy, their move to kind of become a pure play utility that's regulated, is, is kind of in keeping with your own kind of series of what you're thinking at. Is that true? Well, electric utilities, Becky, are, are moving towards an electrification model where electricity wins ultimately. Electric electricity demand globally is, is is increasing, and and utilities in general are are trying to become a pure, a more pure play way of of playing that electricity theme. And so this move by Dominion allows them to be just a more pure play um, electric company, basically electric and natural gas distribution company. What do you think of the future of natural gas transmission lines, the the, the power lines, or the, yeah. um, the the pipelines that are doing through this? Was this a good buy for Berkshire? Yeah, yeah. So, so Becky, that that that's the interesting part here. I think this uh, transaction by Berkshire obviously solidifies natural gas as as a fuel for the future. Um, we think uh, at Tortoise that we are in an energy transition, but natural gas can play a critical role. You combine natural gas and renewables going forward, uh, the world can produce more energy and have less carbon emissions. So um, I, I, at Tortoise, you know, we, we think there's a significant potential for natural gas pipelines going forward um, and, and companies increasing their market share like Berkshire's doing, um, we think will we'll pay off for investors uh, in the future. Hmm. Dominion Energy shares this morning were up as much as 8 uh, percent, closer to about 5.30 this morning. Now, now they're down by about 2 percent. What, what do you think of all the moving pieces here? Because it's not just that they're selling these assets. They are also talking about uh, trying to get their earnings, uh, or I'm sorry, their dividend, uh, to a level of paying out about 65 percent of their operating earnings versus about uh, 85 percent that they've been paying out now. And they say that's more in line with what their peers are looking for. And then you have the big deal of uh, the Atlantic Coast Pipeline project being being scrapped as well. Yeah, I think I think that second point you make is, is a very interesting one. So so scrapping a pipeline that was started back in 2014, you know, there, there were increased regulatory concerns associated with that pipeline, um, and, and and it just made the pipeline uneconomic for both Dominion and Duke, and so so it made sense to cancel those. The important thing though is there's 90 percent of the customers that were that were on that pipeline that were subscribed to that pipeline still wanted that pipeline uh, to, to be built. So those customers are going to have to find another natural gas pipeline. And so what, what we think is, to, to your point about natural gas pipelines, you're going to need more natural gas. Or those customers are going to have to find a pipeline. So existing pipelines in the ground are be, going to become much more valuable. So companies that own those pipelines like Williams and Equitrans, um, we think offer opportunities here to capture the volumes because of the cancellation of, of the Atlantic Coast Pipeline. 